Do you want to add more smoke to your barbecue? Do you want to work within a haze of hickory? Well, we found the right product for you. Let there be smoke. We found the most amazing product. Actually, that's what it's called. It's called Amazing Smoking Products. And we purchased with our own money a pair of smoking tubes. And what you do is you load it in with your pellets of choice. You light one end and put it in your barbecue grill. You could use it in any grill. You could use it in the propane, charcoal, pellet, or even electric smokers, it doesn't matter. What's nice about it is it's not the fuel source heating the barbecue. It's the smoldering source that's creating smoke. So what that, what that does is it allows you to cook at the higher temperature, such as poultry. You want to be at 350 degrees. But trying to get smoke from a pellet smoker or even a charcoal grill at 350 degrees is very hard. You're consuming the wood products and a rapid burn to create the heat, thus having better combustion and less smoke. These are great, just fill them up, put them in there, light them up. Now we went with the two pack, the twin pack. The reason being is we could actually double our smoke output. Also they're smaller in size and allows us to use it in the, uh, the Smokey Joe or even the Acorn Junior. Also we stagger the two pellets either in burn time or with the type of wood chips that we use in there. So one pellet could be filled with uh, apple and another with pecan or hickory. So you could blend two different smoking techniques with two different tubes. What we did was something even better. We took it to the next level. We actually loaded the pellet tubes up with real wood chips, about a 50-50 mixture, and most of the wood chips favoring the rear of the tube. We found that using the smaller wood chips had a better mixing ratio and uh, better smoke. But nevertheless, it burned either the full-size wood chips versus the smaller wood chips didn't matter. Uh, we do recommend that you do not soak them in water. And also, it's not in the uh, manufacturer's instructions to do this. It's just something that we experimented and worked very well for us. And it's something we're gonna do in the future because um, living in the Northeast, it's hard to just go to your big box store and get some really high-end, uh, really fine pellets. They're usually sold in 40 pound bags as a blended uh, style. And getting the traditional single source pellets, you know, apple, hickory, cherry, that is pure, one type of wood made into a pellet is a little difficult. So now I can order online, probably, you know, pay a little bit more for the gourmet pellets use them in the tubes. And that really is what it's all about, especially in the pellet smoker. I could go with the blended, you know, more affordably priced pellets as the fuel supply, and then finish it off with a really good smoke of a very fine grade pellet in a tube, or mix it with some store-bought wood chips that are very accessible over the shelf. Here's a little quick tip. These are normally lit with a propane torch or butane torch. If you don't have that, you could light it with a very strong butane lighter. It will take some time, but it will light. We've done that. And also, you could use fat wood. Break them up into little pieces. You don't want to use big pieces of fat wood. The smaller, the better. And because it's a natural product made from the base of a pine tree, it has a really good natural resin in there that lights very quickly. So as soon as you get that lit in the opening of the pellet tube, set it down, lay it down, it'll catch right up. Well, thank you. Make sure you follow the adventure. And down below, we have a bunch of affiliate links. We did all the research. All you have to do is click on them. it will take you to the Amazon store and you can actually read other reviews. And if you decide to buy, that actually helps us out with our channel. So thank you for paying it forward. Like, subscribe, share. And make sure you hit the alert button.